guys, today's super special. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm out here with, there we go. I'm out here with Chris Moore and Gina at the Bulky Built headquarters. They've moved into a beautiful home here and we're gonna be learning a lot. This is gonna be episode one, showing off the kennel, breaking down a little bit about Bulldogs, getting Chris on film. I'm behind the camera this time. Um, I, I, Jamarcus has to watch the dog, so he's not here helping, but uh, again, Stay tuned because this right here, this dude right here, he's been breeding bulldogs for a long time, and he's one of my dearest friends. <laughs> As you can see, he got these things outside because they just what trophies. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Let's take a look at these puppies over here. He's got the pups out here. I'm doing a little, I'm doing. God, leave, man. I fall ring like yours. Look at these. Look at these. Puppies. Look at these. Oh man. You gotta talk now, not tell him. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm trying I'm going after this look. This is the look I want in my heads. And why is that? I don't know, I just I, <laughs> for when it grows up it's gonna be a much larger head. So I mean this is a girl. She's only nine weeks old. Okay, so Chris, Chris is here. Listen, I'll put this camera right here. Look, one of the things for a fact is the bulldog has been added to the American Bully. If you want a good pronounced stop, and you want what's this called right here? Lift. A lift. There we go. Yeah. A so good I lift. just did a video the other day. So the video states that from the eyebrows, where the eyes are level, to the top of the skull, that's one lift. And then some people, there's some dogs. I have some here. There's another lift from the eyebrow to the top of the skull. It's even more pronounced. Yeah. This one has a more flatter, it goes back this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can see it from the side. That It goes more this way. The ears are on the back of the skull versus on top. So this is more of a, a mastiffy flat style head. Yeah. But it's gonna be large, very cheeky. <laughs> and, is a, and is a bigger head better? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I mean, you gotta so, explain why. So. Most people, when they see, um, God, leave me. Just look at this camera, though. Look how clean that. That's oh, that. Yeah, that that junk look clean. <laughs> so when people look at a dog, the first two things they see is the shoulder set and the, the head. Hey, stop it. So when it looks, when they have that very large head, people be like, you That's all they ever say. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they're intrigued by the rest of the. It's almost like a free calling card or a free business card. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. You hear that, people? So when you think from a sales position, because, you know, I do a lot of business stuff for you guys, you say, how do I get dogs at my door? Literally, someone asked me yesterday, hey, does your following increase the opportunity? Look at this boy. He's going to Italy. Italy? Yeah, Italy. Same thing. Look at the head. He's a really nice boy. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I think they're only nine weeks old. Nine weeks old. Look at that right there. Now, oh, that's a pretty dog, man. That's a pretty dog, man. Good Lord, look, stay tuned, people. We're gonna break down some more dogs for you. Hey, George, George, George. Hey, stop. Okay, now we can talk. So, we're at the. How many dogs you got, man? I don't know a lot. <laughs> That's like the uh, coveted question you don't ask dog breeders. Man. Oh man, so don't That's ask like, a woman how old she is. Don't ask a dog breeder how many dogs he got. And don't ask motherfucker why he in prison. <laughs> well, you got to know why they in prison. They at your house. No, no, no. Why you in? <laughs> oh, like, yo, what you in for? You know what I mean? He don't ask that question. That's, that's not the question, huh? Yeah. So, what's what's special about this setup for you? Why was this important to do it this way? Outside of. Uh, basically keeping the dog safe so uh, when I was in uh, Texas I had wood and I've tried everything from wood to concrete to pea gravel here they have um, basically the ground just stays damp almost all the time so I wanted something to keep them dry and uh, so my next problem is the water I got to get a torpedo heater to dry the concrete at, after I clean it Winnie that's enough. Um, so, for me, I just, 
this solidifies permit permanent for me. Like this is a permit for me. Like this is my house. I'm gonna do it the way I want. Yeah. Uh, when I moved here, this was nothing but woods. So slowly but surely, I'm getting there. Got the roofs, got the lights inside. Got the dog houses. I got two more to build over here. Yeah. I'm a, these are gonna be I'm, all this wood right here. I'm gonna put play pens. They're gonna be 25 by 100 feet deep, yeah. so I can let them out and play, and have a good time. Um, just stuff like that. And over here, I'm gonna build the the puppy pen. I already got a puppy pen over there, but I'm gonna make it a permanent one. But it's on the uh, electric easement, so I gotta make it to where I can they can drive in th through it. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Just for me, it just I want to make these dog houses. These are five by tens. I want to make them five by fifteens. Yeah. Just to get an extra five feet. I know that sounds stupid to most people, but why I, not? Why not? Right? <laughs> I, got, I mean, I built the pad big enough to put a, a, a um, building in the middle of it. It's 50 feet by 45 feet. So I built the pad to be able to have. Um, I want to put a gate across the front and a gate across the back. So when I'm cleaning kennels, they can run on the concrete and act stupid. You know how that goes. <laughs> so what is one of the, you know, what would be maybe two or three things that people should be mindful of when building their kennels? Because people have asked. Oh, uh, the biggest thing that I made the mistake when I lived in Texas, the placement of the sun. Your shade changes from winter to the summer. I know everybody's going to be like, no shit. Like, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, I did know it, but I didn't take it into consideration when I placed my kennel. I get more sun in the wintertime in here than I do in the summertime because all the, the foliage fills back out and no sun hits this concrete. That's why it's right here. That's why the that's why it's I picked this exact spot. That makes sense. <laughs> so that's the one thing I would tell you. Um, the other thing I would tell you is uh, I did, I was gonna do drains and as I was uh, doing the drains, everybody tells me, oh, they get clogged. So there's a huge pitch on this concrete. You can't tell it, you can't feel it, but if I put a gallon of water, it'll be down at the end of the concrete by the end of this. So you laid it that way so it almost yes. acts like a drain. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a storm drain across the back so everything goes right there and it's gonna funnel into a uh, septic system. And that way, I don't have to clean um, uh, the drains out. Hey, they yeah. get clogged by the, dark, the dog's hair, bro. Not the crap or the piss. It's the dog's hair. What about you got leaves and everything? Yeah, that, too. That, yeah, that's the problem too. But the dog's hair clogs mostly everything. Well, Bulldogs don't shed that much, Bro, do they? They do. I promise you, I would have never thought this. But after the first few weeks of being on the concrete, I was like, God, we. I mean, bro, there would be clumps of hair. <laughs> but it was crazy, man. So be mindful of the sun, yes. and then make sure that you got a good drainage system. Yeah. Anything else you think they need to know? Uh, man, I mean. The rest of the stuff is self-explanatory, okay. I think. So then tell them what are some things to expect from Bulky Built uh, Bulldog Program and, you know. <laughs> See, say my name, she get mad. <laughs> hey, little dream, stop. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on a, a, a certain particular look. Actually, the dog that just barked, that's my look I'm after. Um, I'm, I'm chasing a gene and I'm chasing a, just an overall appearance of what I want my dogs to look like. And um, she ain't it, no. <laughs> She's a pain, man. But no, I, I'm really after that certain particular look and that's what I'm, like I showed you in those puppies, that head type, I'm yeah. after that, man. Yeah. I want more of that impressive. Hey, he ain't gonna do nothing to you. I'm, I'm after that really impressive head type that stands out. And I think, I'm, I'm you see a litter there, yeah. I got a litter in the house like that. And I got five or six dogs here with that same head type. So I'm, I'm, I'm slowly but surely locking it in. So people, in the next episode, we're going to talk about head, its challenges, shoulder set, breaking down a bulldog, what to look for, and how uh, to make sure you get a healthy one, uh, breeding, all that good stuff. So for now, we have the bulky book set up. These are all the dogs. Not all the dogs. <laughs> I don't think this is, a t this, this is a little bit of the dog. No, no, These no. are your best dogs over here? I mean, this is a random dog. See, this is the head type and the body type. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it out. We're gonna get around and get some close up. I'm gonna get some pictures so I can break this up down. We're gonna sit down and go over this stuff, man. Stay tuned, people.